aren't your eyes white? I'm gonna explain why your eyes might not be as white as you want and what you can do about it. Keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rupa, board certified ophthalmologist, and on this channel we talk about eye health, eye surgery, eye makeup health, and a little bit about my life here in Hawaii. So if any of that is of interest to you, please hit that like and subscribe button so you can follow along. All right, why are your eyes not as white as they used to be when you were young? You look at little kids and their eyes are so crystal clear and white. And how white your eyes are, it just ranks right up there with how white your teeth are when viewing other people. They've done studies on this stuff. So I get it. When you look like you are tired, when the eyes look a little bit more yellow, it's not considered an attractive appearance. Why does this happen? Well, first, the white of the eyes, what is it really? There's the underlying white, which is the sclera, and then there's actually a clear covering over the sclera called the conjunctiva. And that's what often can get inflamed, and it gets thicker as you age. When you get older, the blood vessels in the conjunctiva get older, the conjunctiva itself thickens a little bit, so it's not as translucent and clear as it is when you're a child. So then you don't see the underlying white as vividly, and so the eyes seem to become a little less bright as you age. Now, that's the normal process of aging, but there's also a bunch of different colors that your eyes can turn, which are of significant. Yellow, that's a common one. If your white of your eyes is yellow, that typically means that you are jaundiced, so that there's something going on with your liver because you're producing extra bilirubin. It accumulates in the white of your eyes and then we see it as yellow. I see this a lot when I'm examining premature babies in the neonatal intensive care unit. A lot of them have neonatal jaundice. They gotta be put under the UV light to get rid of that. But other things that can cause jaundice or damaging your liver, anemia, viral hepatitis, excess alcohol use. So if you feel like the eyes are really, really yellow, that is something absolutely to first and foremost actually see your primary care doctor, your internist. That's gonna be the person that's going to help figure out if it's from your liver, if there's an issue going on. Another reason that the eyes can be yellow is something called surfer's eyes. Now, surfer's eye is really common here in Hawaii, and a lot of my family members have this. It's caused by ultraviolet light and just the sun and the wind and everything that makes you a surfer. It's an elevated yellow growth, and that initial stage is called a pinguecula. When it grows onto the colored part of your eye, that's actually called a pterygium and can actually get more red and inflamed. But the early stages are actually quite yellow and you don't really do anything for that. We don't do surgery for a pinguecula. We'll only do it for a pterygium. White of your eyes might actually be blue as well. And typically that's caused by medications. And unfortunately, once you're on these medicines, usually they are life-saving medications. We don't recommend stopping it because of the color change. These are medications like antiarrhythmics, like amiodarone, antipsychotics, like phenothiazines, minocycline antibiotics, and even long-term steroid use can all cause the sclera to turn a little bit blue. Now, there's certain autoimmune diseases that can cause inflammation of the eyes, like scleritis, uveitis, and vasculitis. Sometimes those can also make the white of your eyes quite blue. And there's other types of medicines, like heavy metals, which can cause it might be a metal toxicity or cytotoxic drugs like cyclophosphamide, busulfan. Usually these are used for rheumatologic and cancer saving medicines. So again, not something that we want to discontinue. Now, what about red eyes? That's a really common one. Chances are you probably had some red eyes in the past and that's usually from irritation. The blood vessels on the conjunctiva are getting big. It can be from allergies, from dry eyes, from a foreign body in the eye, from wearing your contact lens lenses for too long of a period of time. And if it's something benign, once you see your eye doctor, then there is an eye drop called Lumify, which I've done an entire video on. You can check that out, drops for red eyes, but that can help just brighten the white of the eyes. And what it's really doing, it's not affecting the sclera, it's affecting the conjunctiva over it, making the blood vessels smaller, shrinking those blood vessels so that they're not as visible and you see the sclera underneath. So before you just start buying up that Lumify, 
and it really does work. See your eye doctor just to figure out what is causing your red eye so you can treat the underlying cause and not just the symptom of the redness. Now, there's also a reason for the white of the eye to be gray. A lot of times, especially in little kids, we can see the corneal nerves and they'll look like little gray spots all around the colored part of the eye. They are kind of circumferential. And this is a common reason that parents bring their kids into me because they're looking at their baby or their um, toddler and they see the white of the eye and they see these gray spots. They get really, really worried. This is a really common finding. Sometimes enlarged corneal nerves can be associated with a host of medical and ophthalmology findings. So it is always good to see a, a pediatric ophthalmologist for this reason, just so that we can make sure it's not something more vision threatening or life threatening but oftentimes it's just that's what we see in young kids and it starts to fade as they get older and you won't even notice it. Gray eyes can also be caused when the sclera itself is starting to get thin and you're starting to see the underlying uvea and the melanin of the uvea underneath the sclera. So that grayness might be an indicator that the sclera is thin, what we call scleromalacia. And this tends to happen in a lot of rheumatologic diseases, collagen vascular diseases. It can even happen in people who have had surgery for pterygium or eye muscle strabismus surgery, or even just really, really bad dry eyes can cause it as well. This is definitely a reason to see your eye doctor so that we can figure out what is causing it. And if you have a rheumatologic problem like Wegener's or lupus or some reason for having the thinning of the sclera, that's properly investigated and treated, okay? And then the last one is brown. Brown spots can be either completely normal or can be really, really concerning. I actually have the completely normal con, which is called racial melanosis. This happens in pigmented individuals like myself. You get just pigment in the white of your eyes. So just think of it like little, you know, pigmentation that you would normally see. It is not harmful. Racial melanosis does not increase your risk of cancer at all. Likewise, you can get something called an aphilles or a freckle on the surface of the eye. Again, not a problem and doesn't increase your risk of cancer. But there are things you can get moles or nevi of the conjunctiva, all the way ranging up to actual melanoma of the conjunctiva. And these tend to be dark and pigmented. They change with time. Most nevi are completely normal, but that's something that we wanna check. Just like if you have skin moles and you get checked by the dermatologist, I like to see my patients every six months if they have a mole on the surface of their eye because we photograph it, we measure it, and we make sure that it's not getting worse. Typically, you're gonna see that these increase in size, especially during puberty, they're gonna get a little bit larger. These are usually in the part of the eye. You don't need to raise the eyelids to see them. They're in the part that you can visibly see without opening the top or the bottom lid. But melanoma is very dangerous and is obviously something you wanna get treated right away. So if you are concerned, just see your eye doctor and we can tell the difference. So there you go, why your eyes aren't white. Went through all the different colors. Some things are completely normal. Some are part of aging. Some you can treat with over-the-counter eye drops and some you need to see your eye doctor. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have questions or comments below. Drop them and I will try to answer them. And let me know if you have any ideas or topics you want me to discuss for next videos. Until next time, it was good to see you. Bye-bye.